Hello there, all, all you beautiful human beings. Welcome back to another amazing week with me, your girl, Zodi. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay during this time of craziness and scare and people are just freaking out about this whole thing and it's it's fucking terrible it's sad it's ridiculous it's like they they the government knew all this shit was coming in january actually and they obviously they don't care about our lives so they kept it a secret until this month I need 2020 to just go the fuck away right now. Like, bitch, go. Like, you can leave. The door is right there for you to just walk out. Can I have 2019 back? I, I feel like she was good to me. She was. We could have prevented this. We really just we could. It just takes a simple fact to use soap on your hands. Wash them, okay? After you wipe your ass. It's not that hard. You learn this as a child. After you go poo poo, you wash your hands. It's not that hard. We, we've learned this since day one. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you hit on that notification button to get more content from me here, girl. Sorry. Okay, as I stated like a month ago, you guys, I, I told you I was working on the book still. And uh, since I'm out of school, I have plenty of time to do that. So that's what I'm working on this week. We're going to go ahead into our crystal for this week, you guys. And this one is called Bismuth. Sorry, sorry. Can you see it? This is bismuth. Bismuth. I said it. I said it right. Alright. Cool beans. Alright, so bismuth is a rainbow color used for focus, visualization, and journey. It can prevent from becoming overwhelmed by your responsibilities while at the same time increasing your energy levels to deal with them. Relieves feelings of loneliness or isolation. So this could help during our our quarantine time for those who are in the house and, and not me. Okay, um, transformation and change helping to adapt to change with calm assurance. Primary chakra is going to be all of them, all the chakras. Sign is going to be Aquarius, physical fever, muscle pain or pain. Emotional, calming, coping with changes, focus, and relationships. Spiritual travel out of body experience. So that's a little bit of info about business. Going again into Steven Universe. Bismuth is the original member of the Crystal Gems. Her and Rose had a falling out, which unfortunately gets her poofed and into lion's mane until Steven finds her and poofs her out. Now Bismuth thinks that Steven is Rose, which obviously he's not. So as they're going into the episode, um, Bismuth gets very upset of what happened between the two and Bismuth almost kills Steven. So Steven accidentally poofs her. And puts her back into Lion's, well, no. He puts her downstairs in the basement where all other, other broken gems are. Um, and we see Bismuth again in episode Made of Honor. Of the lovely wedding of Ruby and Sapphire. In which they create garnets. Okay, so... Currently, Bismuth lives with Peridot and Lapis Lazuli in that little, little home world in their farm. Now, Bismuth is very friendly. She's very determined. She's empathetic and she's emotional. 
She is not afraid to speak her fucking mind. That's what I love about her. And she's, she cares a lot. She kind of reminds me of me a little bit because I care too much. And I ain't afraid to speak my motherfucking mind when I am good and ready. Okay, that's how I feel about business because, you know, she can be a little aggressive. I think she's a Libra. Let's just say that. Business is a Libra, I feel, in my situation. Or she just reminds me of me. In a way, that she's crazy. And, you know, she can go all out for her friends. And she cares about them too much. So, it's enough about business. So, y'all, you know the deal when it comes to these crystals and chakras and candles and sage and all this stuff. Sage your house. I know. I will be doing that. Okay. So, of course, you guys, we're going to go into our poem for this week. Are you ready? Now, this doesn't have a name yet because I just wrote it. So, this is some new shit. This is some new, new, new shit. Some, some new, new, new shit. New, new, new shit. New, new, new shit. Okay. I want to thank all the humans that have given me the power of writing. Thank you to all my ancestors who have struggled to see the light of day. Praying through the sunshine and the rain. Pain through these eyes that continue to cry. Thank you for all the hate, racism that continues to rise. Because without it, we have no reason to fight back. While you sit back and defy us. Rely on us to give you what you want. So you kidnap us. You kill us. You abuse us. Thank you for all the lies. Thank you for my open third eye. Because it just gives me the strength to speak my words so vividly. So truthfully. So you brainless humans can understand. My ancestors only gave me this gift of speech to teach those who are unteachable, unreachable. My third eye is only seeing clear of what's in front of me. I'm meditating through my inner self, my inner peace. Through my inner me, I'm free. Okay. Thank you to all the humans that stand before me while I float through this universe that is me. Thank you to the government who constantly tells us lies to our faces. So thank you. Thank you. Because you obviously just want to erase us. Hi guys. What's going on? How can I put this? I'm high as shit right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I'm high as fuck right now. But, um, that poem came, like, you guys, I'm not, I swear to God, when I write my shit, I just, I'm just free verse. I'm just in my thought process of what I'm thinking about. And I'm just like, Thank you to the observation of people. Thank you to everything that I see because without this, I would not be so creative with my shit. Thank you for the government who obviously tells us lies every fucking day. Thank you to all these humans that I observe every fucking day because you, you are amazing creatures in different types of ways your brain your thought process is just it's just interesting to me and um sometimes i don't i don't understand what 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 humans do most of the times like what like why do we do these certain things why why make people happy why hurt people why be angry with people why do this why do this it's it's, it's interesting when I, I look at it through my third eye when I picture how the universe is formed it's ridiculous how we were able to be created through the bodies of women um, in a form of God's image it's like thank you to our ancestors who have seeing what will become of us and 
how they have helped transform our lives to what they are now. But as of right now, we're still struggling. Even with the help of our ancestors, we're still struggling as humans, as people, as beings. It's, it's interesting when I look at things through my third eye and I visualize stuff and uh, I just envision a lot of shit. So, um, as you can tell, when I'm high, I say a lot of shit. So, um, I don't know, but, um, I just, I just, I just saw that in my mind and I wanted to write something about how I want to thank everybody for giving me this this art of work that I create on my own my own my own form of poetry than to others who look at things differently in this universe that we just fucking live in but um yeah I'm just it's amazing to me but you know if you guys enjoyed that that little high rant of mine why not subscribe to my channel and see more shit. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, please, please stay safe um, as we continue to go through this horrible crisis of Corona and try to stay positive as much as you possibly can while you're in quarantine and, you know, have that time to actually, you know, spend time with your loved ones as much as you possibly can because we don't know when this shit is going to end, so just, just just, pray, continue to pray, and love each other. Even if you're not with your grandparents or not spending time with your babies, just spend as much time as you possibly can with your loved ones. It's important while we go through this horrible crisis. But I will see you guys next week for another amazing awesome week with me your girl Sodi. I love you guys so much.